Yeah. Yo, what's up? It's your guy Dawson. And I'm Denise. Low. And uh, for now. For now. Yeah, Denise Low, hyphen Low. That's what her name is. She got some other stuff she's doing on uh, what? Facebook, Every, Instagram. Everywhere else. Everywhere. Yeah. So, Denise hyphen Low. Thank you for joining us, Miss Low. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Denise, I was talking to you about uh, this new pill. Well, it's not really new. It's been out for almost about uh, two and a half, three years now, PrEP. And PrEP is a pill that uh, it prevents people who are HIV negative who take this pill daily from contracting HIV. And uh, it is a pill that, you know, uh, that they uh, have to go through their doctors in order to take. But And right. when we have a pill like PrEP that's available, it's just like, I was wondering why aren't many black people, especially those who are at risk, uh, black women and black men who have sex with men, according to the CDC, why aren't they taking the initiative to ask their doctors for this pill? You know, uh, especially black people in general, you know, seriously. Right. Well, today was my first time hearing about it when you, you know, yeah. sent me the link. And I read up a little bit on it, but now that we're talking, I didn't read like, or did you even read what happened when you stopped taking a pill? Or is there any... Your, your um, chances for, if you're HIV negative and you stop taking the pill, your chances if you have unprotected sex with a person who is HIV positive, your chances to contracting uh, HIV will be greater than if you take Travada uh, prep uh, every day. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, so if I if I start taking it, then I stop. There's no side effects. There's nothing that's going to happen if my insurance run out or something doesn't pay for it anymore. I can't afford it anymore, and I stop. Then you just stop. That's it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to figure out. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, that's it. But I, my... And then why not a vaccine? So, but, again, they're charging <laughs> you gonna us for go the there? cure. Conspiracy yeah, because theory? now they're charging us for the cure that they said they have, mm -hmm. which we all, we've always already speculated that there was a cure yeah 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 a lot of people have speculated that there uh that there is a cure for hiv aids that the pharmaceutical companies are just making money but i you know i don't really go into all that conspiracy stuff uh a lot of people i've even been in churches and i've heard pastors say that as as well before well there's no conspiracy <clears throat> if the pill can prevent it then i mean the, <laughs> the conspiracy is is that People who already have HIV, if there's a vaccine, that no. those people should get the vaccine. Why are they still taking medications uh, daily as well? And, you know, these medications, some of them cost a lot, you know, to take. If there's a vaccine, just then rid people of the virus so everybody can exactly. go on with their lives. But with this particular, uh, with PrEP, you know, it is something that's it's uh, it's innovative. And I think a lot of people should... You know, if you are a person who is at high risk for being with uh, persons who may be HIV positive or just doing high risk be, uh, sexual activity, I definitely think it's something that you should look into talking to your uh, physician about it. Now, do you think this pill will make people become even more careless or? Well, that's one of the things I think. Super, the, yeah. They're they the superhuman now of the sex world. Like, what do you think this pill will do well, mentally I, or? Well, I think that's what uh, with the um, with the AIDS Health Foundation, that's one of the things that some of the representatives there had talked about. They were stating that, you know, they were really concerned about the is, is it if, is, is it going to be effective? And some of the people were saying that, you know, this is not appeal just so people can go and have, you know, all the sex they want and just, you know, forget about all the other STDs. But when we look at all the other. STDs, right. That is true. Because exactly. people. Yeah. Yeah. You're not but thinking about you're not mm -hmm. thinking about it. But when you look at all the other STDs, the one that has been the most uh, that has taken people out of here in the past decades has been HIV AIDS, AIDS rather. So that's why this is so, um, so interesting that, you know, years ago they came up with this and it's still people who can't get this. And I even know I remember I told you years ago when I had a client, you know, who was selling her uh, HIV medication. And then when I thought about, you know, PrEP, I was wondering, you know, a Travato, is that what she was uh, selling? You know, because people do, they buy it. You know, I, I've known they buy every type of medication, but HIV medication is one of those medications that people buy as well. So because they can't get it through their insurance or mm -hmm, it's that, too hot. Or yeah. yeah. Or in this case, if you have a person 
who is uh, HIV negative and they want to start PrEP in their physician, or if they don't have health insurance right. and they can't get it, this would be another way that people would sell their medications so they could, you know, to buy, to buy it off the streets as well. But this is, uh, you know, it, it, they say it, it, it reduces the risk up to 92 percent uh, and if it's taken consistently. So you have to take it daily. And like you had stated, if you stop taking it, then your risk to contract HIV does go up. But I definitely think it's something that um, that needs to be taught more about, you know, especially because I think with uh, with us, with black people, it's not really, you know, this yeah, is something. I, I didn't know anything about it. But at the same time, again, we need to let you know that there are still other diseases out there. Yeah, yeah, there are still other diseases. Not, you know, mm -hmm. preventing you from receiving. Yeah, and then also uh, I read that Washington, D.C. is the first citywide program uh, to get black women on PrEP because I think black women's rate in Washington, D.C. is the highest. So it is something, because it was mostly just for men, but I think this is definitely when it comes to, especially with the, the people who are more infected within, you know, w within uh, our communities are men who have sex with men and black women, you know, heterosexual men as well, too. But definitely those are the highest rates right now. And one thing I was thinking about because we are approaching World AIDS Day is within our community. I can I can't really I can talk about the white community, too, but I am a black male. So I'm going to talk about what I know about. Why haven't we? I mean, it, it just seems like it really bothers me that we can do so much when it comes to music, when everything else. And even like we did on our other video when we talked about uh, people uh, in porn, you know, we have people who make amateur videos on world star hip hop, all this kind of stuff. People taking selfies, nude selfies and putting them out and they're talking about their sexual prize. I could do this or, you know, just everything. My thing is, that's that's cool. But if we can do all of that, we can also get the information and the education that goes with that in order to protect ourselves yeah. as well, because it's not enough to 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 fuck like an adult and then play games like you're a child. You know, you mm -hmm. want to go around and have sex like an adult. But when it comes to responsibility, you want to be a yep. child. And that's that's not cool. That's yep. not cool. So and that is true. So, yeah. OK. Yeah. So definitely the prep. Uh, it's something that I think that, you know, I, I was talking to one of my friends about this and they said they were going to ask their doctor. So I think I'm going to look into it, too. There's no harm in it. Like no, you it's said, not. we're all adults. Yeah, we're all so, adults. We're all adults. I'd rather ask for the prep instead of being prepped for the news and all that other stuff <laughs> that you have that, you know. Instead of prepping for the news. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why... <laughs> Why do you think it's so hard for us in the black community to still talk and deal with sex just across the board? I don't know. Like you said, I think it, it because we've been taught since we were little that it was nasty, that it was so taboo. So we feel so ashamed because that was already embedded in us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I think that is, too. But, you know, people are having sex. So, I mean, you can't. You can't, no, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. Yeah. But it was, oh, you were this and you were that if you do this and you do that. Mm -hmm. So now you don't even know your body or you're afraid to tell somebody that someone touched you in the wrong way mm -hmm. if you were younger and all this other stuff because you're the one. It seems like you're the one that'll be blamed for it. You know yeah. what I mean? So Yeah. No, no, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. So definitely uh, if you are... Uh, if you just talk to your physicians about it, I would say, and definitely if you are a person who are who is in high risk behavior, definitely, uh, you know, use precaution. And this is not just to say stop, not use condoms because we still want you to protect yourself as well. Condoms, you know, you that are used consistently and, you know, you know, they do pre prevent some STDs. But like mm -hmm. you said, we still have herpes out there. We still have gonorrhea. We still got syphilis and all that other stuff out there as well. So yep. that's. Prep yourself and protect yourself. So Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Till next time, I'm your guy Dawson. And I'm Denise. Peace.